In this video, I'm going to look at calculating the curvature of the globe Earth. The equation of a circle is given by x squared plus y squared equals r squared. If we were to plot this, then x is the horizontal direction and y is the vertical direction. R, if we were to plot the circle, then the maximum value in the y direction is r and the maximum value in the x direction is r. When x equals 0, we can see that y equals r. So in this equation, if we equate x to 0, what we're left with is y squared equals r squared, therefore y equals r. And similarly for the x direction. Note that r is actually the radius and if we go from the centre to the outside of the circle then that is also equal to r at any point, so equal to the radius at any point. If we have um, the circle plotted on a, a set of axes, then we can draw a right angle triangle. And we need to know some properties of uh, right angle triangles. If we label the sides A, B and C, then we can use Pythagoras' theorem to calculate the length of any of these sides as long as two of the sides are known. So suppose we want to find the length of this side here and we know we already know the length of this side which is called the hypotenuse and it is the longest side and we also know the length of this side. Then we can find the length of this short side by saying square the distance here and square the distance here. Subtract this from this and then square root it. So short side is equal to the square root of the long side squared minus the short side squared. And it's given here as b equals the square root of a squared minus c squared. So a squared minus c squared. Now suppose we know uh, an angle theta, then we can actually use a trigonometric ratio to find um, either the angle theta or one of the sides. The trigonometric ratio says that cos of theta is equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. This is the hypotenuse and this is the adjacent side. So cos of theta equals b divided by a. From this expression, we can find either theta, b or a. What this means is that if we know theta and we know either a or b, then we can find either a or b, if that makes sense. As long as there is w w only one unknown, we can use the two knowns to find that unknown. And we would use one of these expressions here. Suppose we have an arc length here. Then that arc creates an angle of phi here. We can use this expression arc length divided by circumference equals phi divided by 360 to find either the arc length or the angle phi. So suppose we know the arc length, we know the circumference and we know this obviously but we don't know phi then we can uh, rearrange this formula to get this to find phi. Suppose we don't know arc length 
but we know phi and we know circumference, then we can use this expression here to find the arc length. Suppose we have a tangent from a point uh, to the circle. Then if we draw a line from the centre of the circle to where the tangent touches the circle, we always get a right angle triangle. So you can see that we can use these expressions or facts in order to find various angles and distances. Because of symmetry, we only need to consider one quarter of the circle. So suppose you, this is the surface of the earth and you are standing on the surface of the earth and this is your height, your height is h, then the total distance of your line of sight to the centre of the earth is r plus h, so the radius plus your height. We can draw a tangent from your line of sight to the surface of the horizon. Then we can draw a line that goes from the centre of the earth to <coughs> the tangent where it touches the circle. And this creates a right angle triangle. We label this corner A, B and label this angle theta. So you can see there is a right angle triangle that is formed. So let's say the uh, globe earth radius is 6,371 kilometers and its circumference is 40,075 kilometers. And uh, the eye level height is 6 feet, which we have to convert to kilometers. We have to stay consistent with our uh, units. So that would be 0.018288 kilometers. We can use Pythagoras to find the length AB. We know this length. This length is R plus H, which is the radius of the Earth plus the height of the observer and we know this length here, this is just the radius of the Earth. Then the length, <coughs> excuse me, the length AB is given by the hypotenuse squared minus this length which is the radius squared and then we square root it and we get <coughs> a length of 4.827 kilometers. Now we can use trigonometry to find this angle theta. So cos of theta is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. This is the adjacent side and this is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always the longest side. And this side is the adjacent side because it, it is adjacent to the angle. So cos theta is equal to the radius divided by the radius plus the height of the observer. <clears throat> so theta is equal to 0 0.0434 degrees. We can now find the arc length. So the actual distance that a person would have to travel to get from here to here. And recall that the arc length is given by um, this expression. We can find it using this expression. So rearranging this expression, we get arc length is equal to theta times circumference divided by 360. And all we have to do here is plug in these values. So theta is 0 0.0434 
multiplied by the circumference, which is 40,075, and we divide it by 360. So the arc length is 4.832 kilometres. This means that if somebody was standing at this point here and they were six feet high, they would be able to see three, three miles into the distance or 4.83 kilometres into the distance. Now let's calculate drop. So the globe Earth's radius is 6,371 kilometres. The globe Earth's circumference is 40,075 kilometres. And let's assume that B is an arc length of 10 kilometres away from this point here. So this forms an angle theta. This arc forms an angle theta. So this expression tells us how we can find the angle theta since we already know the arc length and we already know the circumference. So theta is equal to the arc length multiplied by 360 divided by the circumference which is 40,075 and we, if we do this calculation we get 0 0.0 898 degrees. Now we can draw a horizontal. The horizontal forms a right angle with the vertical. We now have a right angle triangle. We can use trigonometry to find this length OA and OA Sorry, to find OA, we simply rearrange this expression here to make OA the subject. And this is given by cos of theta multiplied by OB. And OB is the Earth's radius. So we can see that OA, if we do carry out this calculation, OA is 6,370.992 kilometres. From here, we can calculate the drop. We know that R is 6,371 kilometres. And we know that OA is 6,370 6, kilometres, 0.992. So the drop is found simply by subtracting this shorter distance from the longer distance, so radius minus OA, and this comes out to be 0 0.0078 kilometres, which is 25.6 feet. So if we were to travel 10 kilometres, we would experience a drop of 25.6 feet.